Hello there, creative peeps, and welcome to Freely Whole Creative, where we're relieving a little stress in life and making beauty from ashes. I'm Liberty, your creativity coach and life restoration coach, and today we're making a project that I've not seen anywhere else before. I've seen a lot of envelope pockets made for our journals and happy mail and other things, but I have never seen them made out of bank envelopes before. So I love this size. It is perfect for your regular size journals as well as travel notebook size, which I love to make a lot of. So I really enjoyed coming up with a way to use these and make them beautiful. And of course, you can do far more embellishment and I'll show you how the pockets work and everything. But first let's gather our supplies. Very simple and easy. All you're gonna need is a bank envelope, some patterned paper, some neutral colored cardstock, some adhesive, pair of scissors, and then your optional things that you can use is some ink with a blending tool, a corner rounder, and a background stamp. And that's it. So go gather your supplies and join me on this journey and see where it takes us today. So I've cut my papers down. I used a digital printout. You can use scrapbook paper, um, you could do painting and stenciling and said whatever you want to use to decorate. But what you're going to need, if your envelopes are the same size as mine, is one piece that's about three and a quarter by seven. My envelopes are actually between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch shorter than that. But that's the approximate size you can determine if you want to leave a little edge around them or if you want it to come right to the edge but you need a piece that's going to fit over the envelope without the flap and it'll go under the envelope now we're going to turn the flap this direction to create our pocket here and so with a bank envelope you've got sticky there and sticky here and so we're going to need to cover both of those up but our first piece is going to go on the envelope itself and then with the flap folded back over it. So realize that only about the first inch and a quarter of this design is going to show. So make sure when you cut this piece that you've got a pretty design that you want along the edge. And it can be either edge your envelopes can turn out this way or they can be done the other direction so either way is fine okay then you're going to need a piece to cover the envelope flap for my envelopes this is approximately two inches by seven inches and after we put that on we're going to cut it down and then the piece of neutral colored cardstock is going to go behind for two reasons. Number one, we have the sticky here that we need to cover. And number two, because the envelope is down and not flush with where the fold is, if you try to slide things in from the top under there, it's going to get hung up on this easily unless you get it glued down real good. So I just put a piece under there and I stamp along the edge of that to cover it up just so that it's sticking out just a little bit past to show that that is also a pocket there. Now instead of putting the cardstock and stamping it, you could put another piece of your patterned paper there, but you're going to want to put something behind that to sturdy it up a little bit. I like using the lightweight cardstock for that. So let's get started and put this together. Very simple. It's just a gluing project. So get some scraps. 
wrap paper here. Um, the Distress Collage Medium works great for this, but another way that I found even faster for me is using the Zig two-way glue stick with the white applicator. And you just want to make sure you get right up to your edge there and then around your edges. And that's why I'm gluing on top of a old book page is just to make sure that I get clear to the edges on this. Line up your paper with your corners and apply. Good old vintage photo ink comes to the rescue to cover any of those white edges. Okay, next we want to glue our other long piece make sure we've got it the direction we want it to go and we're going to glue that to the flap piece again get right up close to the fold and right up along all the edges Line it up right along your folded edge. Okay. Once you've got that side done, you'll want to take your scissors and just go along the edge of the envelope flap to cut off the excess. Mine has slightly rounded corners. And mine is also slightly too wide. You could leave it, but that's thin paper will probably get ripped up pulling your tag in and out so I just slice that extra off okay once you have that piece put on and trimmed out you're going to want to ink your edges before gluing your flap down one while we're at it and a little extra on this side okay then you're going to use your regular glue to glue this flap down and just apply a thin bead along the edges of the sides which will become the top and the bottom of that flap And then stamp along at least the edge that'll be shown. You don't have to stamp the whole thing if you don't want. And notice you don't want to glue, put your glue on the card because it'll go over the edges. So put your glue on the back side of your envelope, being careful that you don't go past these edges here and glue this pocket shut. So I use my more precise glue along these little flaps that need to be glued down and along this edge that needs to be glued carefully down so it doesn't get caught 
when you put your journaling card or tags in here. And then for the rest of it, I can use my wide tipped glue again. Using the cardstock back here also firms up your pocket a little bit, giving, making it a little sturdier and giving it a little more strength. And my measurements for that were seven by three and five eighths. I don't want it to stick out too far on the side, but I like that little, about a half an inch that it sticks out there. And there you have it. Your bank envelope double pocket is all done. And you can put a tag or something in the pocket here to the side. You can put a larger tag in this pocket here. If you glue down just on three sides underneath there, that'll create another pocket you could put here, or you could do glue these three sides and slip something under that as a tuck spot, or even glue those three sides underneath and put a tag in from the top. Of course, you can embellish this in any way that you would like to decorate it further, just depending on how flat you want to keep it and how much of your pattern paper that you put down you want to show. So that's it. I've got a few more ideas that I'll show you on using bank envelope to make pockets in other videos when I have time. Thank you for joining me on the creative journey today and I hope you were inspired and that you'll like and subscribe to my videos here and share them with your friends too, as well as sharing your creations with us. I have groups for sharing on MeWe and Facebook, as well as down below in the comments here on the blog. Now, go make beauty from ashes and may your life be freely whole.